Welcome to the uh, second video tutorial of uh, dynamically add rows in grid view part 2. So uh, in the previous video tutorials we have a uh, an exceptions uh, that comes from the actually in, uh, it was not add a row in that table. So add a row in the table dr equals to dt dot new row. So add a new row okay and when we click on the button add new button then add a new row in this session uh, in this action so add it so we have a uh, table in the view state so first of all check uh, the view state contain a table either view state contain a table or not so if view state of data table is not equals to null then pass the data table uh, uh, create instance of the data table first and then copy the view state uh, value to the data table so data table dt equals to data table view state of data table okay so we have a, uh, a data table in the view state uh, sorry data table uh, okay now create a sorry in, make instance of the data row that becomes uh, null if d table dot rows dot count is greater than zero that means we have a single row if we have a row then i want to create a new row in this uh, grid view so dr equals to d table dot new row create a new row okay so dr of serial number is incremented by the previous one so d table dot rows dot count plus one so default uh, start from the one then incremented by one is two okay now in the name section and the phone number section so d table dot rows dot add what dr okay now add that row in the view state so data table equals to d table okay so add a new row with the uh, second serial number that is 2 and add that into the table now use the for, for loop to create a table first of all uh, I want to copy that uh, value in the same row okay so uh, do this here use the for uh, for loop variable i equals to 0 i is less than d table dot rows dot count so uh, I have two rows in the grid view so count return 2 okay because uh, first uh, row added uh, from the page load and second when we click on the add new row the serial number is added so the for loop iterate two times first uh, first of uh, first time so text box t1 goes to text box grid view one dot rows 
of i dot cells oops dot cells of one or you can uh, take it the name of the cell or you can say column name name dot to string similarly for the city or uh, for the third column cutting error dot find control not 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 it's not a, a rows of i dot find control is uh, the right So remove serial number is zero and name is one. At the position, so copy that. Find control that is one. For uh, for the second text box. For the phone number, we have second cell dot find phone number, yeah, phone text. Paste it here. So D table dot rows of I of name what value you want to insert it here T one dot text and in the second column I of phone number copy and paste it here t2 dot text okay now after copy the value into the text boxes because in the uh, second rows grid view one dot data source is d table grid view one dot data bind okay now after the if statement or you can say that after the view uh, view state uh, database is not equals to null then if your view state is null I mean to say uh, view state is null mm, getting a simple message view state is null Okay. Just after the uh, method set a set data, integer index with the zero. Check uh, in the view state uh, we have a table. So first of all check view state 
if view state of the data table is not equals to zero then data table assigned with the uh, or you can say copy your view state value into the data table that is already done in um, previous session just before two seconds so copy the data table of view state view state of uh, view state of uh, data table copy that for loop uh, dttb dot rows dot count okay uh, similarly previous session t double one is instance name of the text box and getting the value from the text box uh, similarly for the previous one copy that and paste it here when we click on the button if your view state is null I mean to say that uh, then I want to um, put it here when we click on the button and your view state is null then first of all check your view state is null then is not equals to null then copy that uh, text box into the uh, copy that uh, dttb dot rows of i dot name dot to string into the text box copy that and paste it here similarly for the text box 2 okay so if if i is less than dttb dot draws dot count is minus one then what that expression check if your uh, rows is count as minus one i mean to say that if you have a single row then copy that dot rows of i dot name dot to string into the t1 dot text box similarly for the phone number also dot to string uh, actually there is no need for here uh, in a later session in later video session I will need it here so remove that uh, if you want to add only the row in the uh, grid view in the later video session I will uh, save that uh, value of the grid view uh, or you can say the newly added uh, rows in the grid view to save into the databases so uh, further I will use this index plus plus but in this video tutorial there is no need of uh, index plus plus method index plus plus uh, operator so if you want to remove it then you can do okay so let's to check view in browser 
yeah index was out of range must non negative and less than size of collections yeah that is grid view one dot rows of i dot cells of one dot find control is nothing to uh, do it here because um, i went to put it here cells of this actually mistake mistake it here Okay, uh, come to the next video tutorial. I will see in uh, the next video tutorial. Okay, please watch my next video tutorial. Their index was out of range, must be non negative and less than size of collection parameter. So, please visit my next video tutorial and let's to see what happened. This, okay. So thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my next video tutorial to dynamically add rows in a grid view thank you thank you very much